Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do the proof called the area proof. In trigonometry you are going to be required to do three proofs the area rule, the sin rule and the cos rule. Now before we start the rules we are going to do a few basic adjustments to the current graph. When they give you the proof. You will see the triangle looks very similar to the one that we have. Sometimes they flip it over, it's a reflex against the Y line, so the triangle sometimes goes this way or sometimes they turn it around. But small changes, however, the concept is the same. So, what you must remember is we're trying to work with this triangle, but we first need to get the coordinates of A. Now, if you draw a line, perpendicular to the x-axis. From your grade 10 work, you would know regarding a right-hand triangle. You would choose your angle and then you'd mark your O, which is opposite, your H, which is the hypotenuse, and your A, which is adjacent. Now what I'm trying to get or calculate is the length of this line. How do I do that? It is side you want over side you have. Now hypotenuse in this case is considered the side you have. So I have O over H which is equal to sin and which specific angle did we work with? C. So I have O over, now look what they have labeled H as, B. So I have O over B is equal to sin C, giving me O as B sin C. So the length of O is B sin C. Now, if I want to calculate the length running horizontally, you would see that there is a 90 degree angle at this point. And since it is horizontal, that would make this line parallel to the line you've drawn, giving me this angle as C. Can you see? It's an alternate angle. Now, working with the triangle that I'm going to highlight. So we're now working with the yellow triangle. Now if I choose the yellow triangle, this is my O, the 90 degrees is again my hypotenuse and this is my A. I am looking for the horizontal line. So I want A and it's over H which is equal to cos. Which angle are we working with? We're still working with C because remember it's alternate angle so even though you have A, we are still working with the C angle, the value of the C angle, cos of C. Now H is named B, so we've got A over B is equal to cos C. Getting A alone, we have B cos C. Now these two values that we've just calculated, for the departmental exam, you do not need to know how I've obtained those values, but you need to know how to apply it, which means if I am working with the vertical line. Now you know from previous knowledge that the vertical line represents Y and the horizontal line represents X. So what we've actually calculated is the coordinates of A. The coordinates of A is B cos C and B sin C. So what we've calculated is the coordinates. The way that we've done it now it is important that you know how to draw your triangle and it is important that you know these coordinates. If you choose not to learn how to do this entire step, you would have to memorize that. 
but it is wiser to understand where it comes from than to just write it down. Now let us do the actual proof. The proof for an area. You know from previous knowledge that the area of a triangle is equal to a half base times height. Now height refers to the perpendicular height. So what do we have? If we're working with the triangle as we have it here, our base is BC, which they have labeled as A. So we have half, our base is A. And then what is our perpendicular height? What is the height that is 90 degrees? Can you see? The height that is 90 degrees is a reference to this y value. And this y value is B sin C times B sin C. So what do we have? We have half A B sin C. And that is the area rule. The area rule states the area of a triangle is equal to half A B sin C. Now if you adjust it, you can adjust it. It becomes half B C sin A. And the last one can be half A C sin B. What you should notice is that in every equation, I have all the alphabets A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. So when you deciding how to use your triangle, if you have C as your angle, then you have A and B as your remaining sides. If you have A as an angle, you have B and C as your remaining sides. If you have B as an angle, you have A and C as your remaining sides. Thank you for watching.